So for today's video, we are going to talk about the survivor story of Toria Pitt. Toria Pitt was born on July 24, 1987. She is an Australian mining engineer, humanitarian, athlete, motivational speaker, author, and mother. In September 2011, Toria was competing in an ultramarathon through Western Australia's Kimberley region when she was caught in a grass fire. During a subsequent inquiry, she stated there was quote-unquote nowhere else to go. When the competitors tried to outrun an out-of-control blaze that swept up Selena Gorge just outside Konunura, Toria suffered burns to 65% of her body. It was several hours before medical help arrived and she was airlifted out. Doctors did not expect her to survive her injuries. The parliamentary inquiry into the Kimberley Ultramarathon was damning of the race organizers racing the planet. Among other things, it was revealed that organizers were unable to communicate properly between checkpoints. Turia launched Supreme Court actions against racing the planet, and in May 2014, it was reported that an out-of-court settlement had been reached. Toria has been profiled by the Australian television program 60 Minutes and Women's Weekly. She became a sought-after public speaker appearing at such events as the TEDx Macquarie University Conference in September 2014, giving an inspirational talk entitled Unmask Your Potential. Toria has mentored thousands through her online programs, raised funds and awareness for a variety of philanthropic concerns and authored two books, Everything to Live for and Unmasked. In 2014, Toria was named the New South Wales Premier's Award Woman of the Year and was a finalist for Young Australian of the Year. In 2016, she was a finalist in the Australian of the Year Award and the NSW finalist for Telstra Business Woman of the Year Award. She is an ambassador for Interplast Australia and New Zealand, now called Research International, and has raised money for the organization by leading trekking adventures. In that capacity, she walked the Great Wall of China in 2014 the Inca Trail in 2015, and the Kokoda Track in 2016. Through this work, along with her support for other research international fundraising initiatives, she has directly and indirectly contributed to more than $1 million being raised to support the organization's work. Prior to the ultramarathon incident, Toria was a healthy, fit athlete. As a result of her injuries in the fire, she was placed in a medically induced coma for a month. All the fingers on her right hand and two fingers on her left had to be amputated. She endured six months in hospital, underwent over 200 operations, and spent two years in recovery. During that time, she was required to wear a full body compression suit and mask and only allowed to remove for an hour a day. The mask was required to help smooth out the scars on her face and body. She removed it for the first time on the 60 Minutes program, revealing her face to the world. On May 8, 2016, Toria completed in her first Ironman Australia competition, finishing in a time of 13 hours, 24 minutes, and 42 seconds. On October 8, 2016, she completed the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii with a time of 14 hours, 37 minutes, and 30 seconds. Toria and her fiancé announced on July 21, 2017 that they were expecting a boy. On December 7 of the same year, she gave birth to their son, Hakavai Hoskin. 
on February 9, 2020, Toria announced on her Instagram page that she and fiancé Michael Hoskin welcomed their second child, another son named Rahiti Hoskin. During the recent Australian bushfires, her own home was left without electricity, which increased her anxiety to a point where she was unable to sleep. Toria said in an interview with the Stellar magazine, quote unquote, I'm scared of fires, so I don't want to go fighting a fire. I didn't want to go with Michael in the boat and evacuate people from fire affected areas, and I wasn't going to use a chainsaw to cut down trees. Toria instead decided she wanted to be of service to others. So alongside her friend, Grace McBride, she set up the Instagram page at Spend With Them. The initiative connected fire-affected businesses with consumers, allowing fire-ravaged communities the ability to recoup lost sales. Toria said that it is how she dealt with a lot of stuff in her life. Giving back and helping others makes her feel good too. Toria used the crisis she experienced to give back with that experience settling her own mind in the process. The initiative was an instant success with it attracting 200,000 followers. Speaking to the Daily Telegraph last month, Toria revealed how the joy of motherhood had impacted her. It made her a lot more compassionate, more caring, and more selfless. She's now more conscious of the fact that she has someone else in the world that takes priority over her. Toria Pitt actually has a website, and I will leave the link on the description box if you want to check it out and read her story piece by piece and um, read her story that according to her is forever divided into two parts before the fire and after the fire
So that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching.